Hi, this is Mike Spink from MyCRM. Welcome to our training channel on YouTube. These videos are provided free, so please ensure you subscribe to our channel for further videos and helpful information. Today we're going to look at an opportunity qualification and also explain how to create quotes and values on opportunities based on either a user input or those that are generated by products and services. So previously we created a lead for Joe Blogs or Blugs as I spelt it and created an opportunity having gone through some early qualification. We're now at the propose stage. You can see this has been active for a one day and one hour. We put an estimated close date the end of November uh, with an estimated revenue of £10,000. There are also here some activities that were created. As you can see, the opportunity was created, the lead was qualified, and we also recorded a competitor, which is a rival company. We've set up Daisy, somebody that will be helping on this opportunity, uh, and Joe is the only stakeholder. If we move down further down the form, you can see there are no product line items whatsoever, and the revenue that's up here um, is purely user provided. Now let's take this a little bit further by actually introducing the fact that we'll be working with a price list. We no longer believe that this user provided £10,000 revenue is accurate enough and actually what we want to do is change this figure to represent the things that we're actually going to be selling. So the first thing we do is we look up a price list and in Dynamics 365 you may have a few price lists in this particular record then we have one default price list set. Once that record is saved then we can change this to system calculated and now look up existing products. So I'm going to add in services and actually we think that there's probably 10 days of services that are going to be sold here and then we're going to look up a further existing product and now we're going to sell product 2 and product 2 is £950 but we think there's probably likely to sell 5 of those and we move on through a further product. I'm going to choose one more because we're also going to include maintenance for the first year which is £5,000 and there's just one of those. In addition to the products we can actually write in a product so I could just write in that this is a special item and you can give that a price so we're going to say that's £8,000 and, and that is it and we save this and up here you'll see that as opposed to the £10,000 value which was user provided we now have a system calculated value of 19,500. This is just taking product line items uh, and at the moment this is not produced a quote. Now once the record is saved and we're at the proposed stage here don't forget so we might want to develop a proposal complete the eternal review and present the proposal. Now the proposal may take the shape of a Word document or a PDF document or any other type of document and typically a quotation. So what we're going to do now to progress this opportunity is we're going to produce a new quote. So we click on the plus button for the quote and the quote will pull through the product line items that you've just seen. It will give the quote an ID which is unique and a revision and we can change the name if we wanted but it will just pull through the default. Yes you've got things like shipping methods and payment terms and freight terms and you can put in there bill to and ship to addresses if you want to. I'm not going to do any of that. And you can add notes and you can actually create activities now around the quotation. One of the things we want to do is we want to apply a tax rating. So the My Tax Calculations enhancement from MyCRM lets you choose a tax rating. In this particular case, I want to add on the VAT. And when we serve the record, we've now got a VAT record based on 20%, which is a UK current rating. While we're here, we're actually going to give a 5% discount. And you can see the numbers have changed. Now we're going to make this effective from today's date. And I'm going to give the customer one month. So I'm going to go through to the 17th of October. And that's the effective from and effective to date. And after that date, it would be invalid. And then what we're going to do is activate the quote. And what that activate the quote actually means is the quote is now active and is in play. 
Using the My PDF Creator enhancement from My CRM, we can quickly and easily create a quote. For now, I'm not going to attach to notes and I don't want to email and attach it, although I could do that. What I want to do is download it, which is here, just so I can check it over. And you can see the information has been left blank where I haven't actually filled it out. We can return back to the quote. We would then typically hit the create email and attach and hit the OK button. And that goes off and gets sent to the customer. When we go back to the opportunity, we would then mark these as being completed. This is assuming that we've delivered a proposal. We've certainly done the quote and we move on to the next stage, which is the closing stage. And these factors, complete final proposal, well, we've pretty much done that. Uh, we may not have presented the final proposal. We may be in negotiation terms, but these fields here are completely customizable. Whatever suits your business is how the system is designed to work. And that's really it. That's the generation of a, an opportunity and producing a quote and showing the difference between system calculated and user provided values. Please remember to subscribe to our channel for any further videos. And if you need any help or assistance, please contact us, give us a call, email us or connect with us on a range of social media. Thank you very much. Goodbye.